Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another one of my course vlogs. An exclusive invite today out here to Glendora Country Club. It may look like a forest, but this is LA and it's a beautiful, beautiful hillside old country club track. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below, like the video, and we'll see you out there on number 10. Here we go. Starting here right next to the driving range on the main side of the property right behind the clubhouse. The 10th hole is a brute. Make sure you get a snack at the clubhouse and prepare yourself for this challenge. A long par four, almost 460 yards, wrapping around some of the tallest trees on the property. Left is the driving range, right is the neighborhood, but down the middle is the way to go. A little green here surrounded by a necklace of bunkers. And this is a target golf course especially back here on the back nine a lot of holes wrapping around left and right oh it's too much that might be too much a little quick off the tee here and down the left hand side just in the pine straw on the back side of the driving range i had a look at it had to clean my lie oh my gosh be great that full pitching wedge was flushed right on the stick and landed here just on the front edge. An easy putt down the hill towards this flag. That goes the right. Just couldn't quite get that read on it. These greens are running flawless out here, as you would expect trip, at a private country club. A little tap in for par, and we can head on down to the 11th. Heading right back up the hill, we just came down and uh, kind of surrounding the driving range here with number 10 and 11. This here is an awesome short par four that is nothing but terror. Bunkers left and right, protecting the landing area and the green as you head up the hill. And this front hole location was told to me by the member to be one of the most treacherous on the golf course. a little spinny it's not gonna get there get over that bunker please after a pull left on the last tee i was happy to get this one cutting down the middle left myself 55 to 60 yards here to this flag a little knockdown lob wedge just beyond the flag left myself this putt it just kept going ultimately it was another par but man alive i hit that putt down the hill like it was about a foot and it went 10 to 15 feet that was ridiculous now a par 5 the 12th hole is kind of similar to the 10th off the tee but a lot different into the green fairway bunkers down the right hand side are going to protect anyone that decides to bail out but if you can cut this corner there's a little speed slot in the mountain here that can catch your ball going forward and give yourself a little bit of extra distance down here to the bottom of the hill. Now, you're not seeing things wrong. That's a tree right in the middle of the fairway. As you climb the hill, you got to negotiate the tree. Do you have enough to get it over it or will you be playing around it? A gorgeous green complex here sitting at the top of the hill surrounded by more bunkers. That's how you hit a big drop, boys. Sit there. Oh, that's gone. Please stay there. Please stay there. Oh, that landed softly. Thank God. Thank God. On in two on this par five, and oh now goodness. a slippery one. Oh, Brett, what are you doing? That one really rolled out past the hole just over 10 feet here, was not able to convert on the par five. An unfortunate three putt par, and we can head to the toughest par three you might see all day long. Over 200 yards, shoot, this one's almost 230 yards on the card. And with those trees down the right hand side, I just felt like I couldn't quite sling my draw in there with my long iron. Almost handcuffed here. I tried to hit something different. Kind of like a big high cut, 
and well, I just hit it straight. <laughs> right at the left-hand bunker and short of it here on the fairway, I guess, of the par three, trying to get up and down from about 45 yards. I left this one underneath the hole and had a makeable look at it. This one's going in. Damn, I, fall. I felt every ounce of that one. I did. Oh man, the first bogey here on the backside. I guess it was inevitable, but hey, it is what it is. Now a tough par four here, the 14th. We're down at the bottom of the valley and we're gonna start working back and forth here and all the way back to the clubhouse. This 14th hole is a very awkward tee shot. It does wrap around to the right this time. We've been seeing a lot of holes go to the left and this one is also off camber as the hill will kick any tee shot down towards the left. A relatively simple green, just one bunker up there to contend with. Now it was more of a test of trying to hit my driver every which way but straight. This was another little double cross, tried to get it to turn over to the right, but it didn't happen. Oh, give me a golf shot, please. Give me a golf shot, please. There we go. Thought I landed this one perfectly, but it was just a little bit long. It did land on the green, and I had a great look at it with a putter from that back fringe leaving it just a foot underneath the hole. We can kick it in for the par and head down to the last par three of the day. This is a gorgeous one framed by these tall pine trees and those deep bunkers. This one should be a mid short iron for most. It was a full nine iron for me to this front flag. See enough, see enough. Oh, it's over the top of the bunker. Hopefully that kicked down, we'll see. It did kick down over the top of the bunker here onto the front of the green, pin high, 12 feet. That's so slow going back towards the mountain. That's oh, and I tried to just give it too much respect. Under the hole, tap in for par, and we can head to a set of par fours that are very, very different than we have seen all day. Teeing off from a shoot of trees, this 16th hole is very short, only 320 yards from the tips. That makes that lake 230 off the tee. The bunker is only 200 yards, and then you're gonna have to hit a full club up and over the trees to this isolated little green back here. It's nearly an island. So this is just a six iron for me. My 200 yard club, I'm trying to lay it perfectly into the middle of the fairway and I hooked it. Right next to the cart path, I had just over 100 yards and had to push this lob wedge up and up right. over the tree. Doing, dude? And I just didn't hit it hard enough. Right into the tree and now we're playing three from about 45 yards short of this flag. <laughs> Somebody's closer! So what do you think, Nathan? Is that good? <laughs> I think you have to put that one in. I gotta putt it. <laughs> no, no, that's a kicking. No, kicking! Not a bad way to salvage the par here on that short par four. And now we head to the second of these very unique par fours. Under 400 yards? No, it's under 300 yards only 286 wrapping back around to the right this time and up the hill it's surrounded by deep deep bunkers and it's just a tiny little green with the slip that's going to be good the number called for a three wood to try to get it just up to the front of the green i was told long was death this one was just short of that greenside bunker, and I had a good lie here in the rough, was able to flop it up, and I hit a great shot. Up here to just about six feet, lined it up and tapped it in for the birdie. 
to get it back here to one over par with just a par five to play. It's time to feast here on the last hole and let's see what I can do. Now this one is awesome. It's one of the most dynamic finishing holes I've played in a long time. At first it starts out straight it bends over to the right and heads up the hill. Most of your tee shots will be landing right here where this cart is parked on the right hand side and you'll be facing a blind shot up the hill and then way around to the left. You might get a glimpse of that green side right hand bunker. Play a draw off of that if you can and you'll get your ball to wrap all the way down to this green. So first things first, hit the cut off the tee and right down Main Street. Left myself about 250 yards and this was a full two iron for me, which I hit thin to win. Holy moly, That's a worm it. burner of a draw worm all burn. the way down there and over the green. And it got caught up in this back rough just ah, over just the green. Right. That's it. All right, folks. Well, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe and we'll see you next time. Later.